Hello, so this is the last video of three uh, to learn the exercise at the market. So this is what we should have so far. We should have the whole of the right hand. I'll go over it. You can play along with me if you like. One, two, three, four. Then in the second video, we added in just the first half of the left hand. So the left hand bit was a run up and a run down. So you start on the E and I had to remember to put the F sharp in because of the key signature. So the left hand went. And then we put that with the right hand. We went. And then we just carried on to the end with just the right hand. So you should be able to do all of that uh, this far. If you can't, don't worry, but you need to go back to the previous video if you're struggling with the left hand. And if you're struggling with the right hand at all, you just need to go back to the first video. Um, now, just looking at the final bit, it's got, we've got to bring the very final bit hands together. I'll play it to you. Now, let's look at that in the music for a second. So here it is. So now the thumb is still on B. You see where you did the run up before? Da, 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 da. That was your thumb on B, thumb on B, going back down. Then you go back to your thumb. Now that funny looking chord, that it's just a little two note chord. It's the B and the note below B, which is A, played at the same time. Now you may wonder if you're supposed to play the A first before the B, but that's just the way they write these notes. Because if you actually put that B over the A, those notes would be overlapping in the music and it wouldn't be very clear. But I know they're played at the same time because they've got the same, they're sharing the same stem. So you go B, then you go B and A together. I'll show you. So there's the B. Try it with me. So try your thumb on the B. And then I want you to play B and A at the same time. And that's that chord, okay? So there it is. There's the B with your thumb. There's the B and the A. And then to finish off, we've got another B, which is a semi-breathe. That's the long note that lasts for four. So that B is going to last for the whole bar and it sits over the top. But under it is a G. So we've got a B with a G, and then that G will walk down like this. So that would be this. So first of all, we need to be able to do this just to go thumb, then thumb and two, and then thumb and three. So try that with me. It's important to be able to do that. So you need your thumb. So thumb. One and two, and then one and three, like that. Now there's a little bit more. You're going to walk this bottom bit down. So the G changes to the F sharp, letting go of the G, and then the F sharp changes to the E, letting go of that, leaving us with what we call a fifth. One, two, three, four, five. So here we go again. So it's thumb, one and two one and three and then try and just walk this down like that leaving the thumb on all the way i'll do one more so fiddly so it's your thumb then it's the one and the two then the one and the three and then basically these fingers are going for a little walk it's going three four five but that three four five needs to be happening at the same time as the thumb is held so it goes one three So let's get back to what the right hand was doing. This was the second half where the right hand went, ya da 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 da. That was your third finger there, by the way. So the first four notes, ba da da da, has got a B sitting under it. Then as you repeat that right hand E, you play the next chord, da, let that cross down. And then as you settle back onto the E at the end, you play that chord, the one and the three, and then it just walks down. And that all that stays held, and that one stays held as well. I'll show you what I mean. So here's your right hand bit. Let's try that first. So let me show you one, and then you can play it. Now try that with me. So you got that. If I give you a three and a four, three, four. Two E's cross down and back to E. Now under this we want to put just the B. We'll try it 
try it with me. One more. Now you're about to repeat the E, but you're going to play, play that there. Cross to the D sharp all on its own. And then you're going to go back to that E, and this is where you need the one and three here. So a new chord one and three, and then walk down. I'll show you again. I'm also going to try and lighten it up a bit now, because I'm doing that very loud, and it's supposed to be piano. So you've got your thumb there, put your three. So you do them together, you go. As you repeat the E, play the one and two. Then that just happens while that's held. Then when you return to the E, new chord here. Shall we try one together? Three, four. Restrike. Restrike. So finally, I'm going to play the whole thing now. And you, you may need to do a bit of work on this. You may need want to pause the video, whatever, now and go back and work on it. But the aim is to be able to play the whole thing like this. I'll count it in. But as I say, you may need to practice it quite a bit before you be able to play along with me. One. Two, three, four. Then suddenly quiet. And the final thing is going to be quite a bit faster than that. It's going to be more like this. One, two, three, four. 